Okay, I'm going to be here to teach you all about unusuals. Right now, my paint baller is equipped with, with an unusual and also a Mossberg 500. I don't know why it has a Mossberg 500 now, guys. I have no idea. Okay, cool. So, how unusuals work is basically you get them from these character crate things, and it has a 1% chance of every single crate you buy. There might be different ones in the future, but as of right now, this is, di this is what you got to waste your money on. <laughs> According to my aid, there are 17 effects, and this makes thousands of combinations of skins and effects. Right now, I only have 14 effects. I don't think Mighty gave me all of them, which is fine, though. I have 14 unusual effects. I have this one like, that kind of shines with green and purple and white in it. I have this uh, this one. I believe this one's called Black Hole. The names are not listed on here, so I, so I don't know which one's what. I'm just going to make up names for them. This one is a red fire. I'm like, that looks pretty cool. This one is going to be uh, Yellow Fireflies. Yeah, Yellow Fire. Yeah, Yellow Fireflies is the name I just gave it. And this one's going to be Green Lava Lamp. Because uh, this one's a bit different. Because the fire is more like a cone shape compared to the fire. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Compared to this fire where it looks like a fire. Uh, this one's going to be Dead Flies. Okay, that's disgusting. Nobody wants that. If you get this unusual. You're better off just not using it. Okay, cool. Now, this one is going to be nuts and bolts. This one is also pretty bad, but hey, it's probably better than dead flies floating around you. This one is going to be the red lava lamp or purple. I'm like, it's it's kind of... Okay, that's orange, red, purple. Yes, that's like three colors in one. It looks pretty dope. Uh, that was just the same one. This one's a green fire. This one's going to be... Uh, 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 purple, pink, pink gravity hole. Yeah, pink gravity hole. This one is going to be, uh, um, uh, uh, candy bar, lava lamp, and this one's going to be, uh, Electro Man. This one is going to be, uh, Sparkly Milky Way, and this one's going to be Sparkly Milky Way, but faster. This one's going to be the, uh, Yellow Sun Effect, yes, that's, I, I, I don't know. These are not the real names. I'm just giving them names. And this one's going to be Yellow Fire Dude. Yeah, Yellow Fire Dude. Yeah, that. Yeah, Fire Dude. Yeah, that's the name of this one, Fire Dude. So, uh, those are all. Th those are 14 unusuals. There's apparently 17, but I was only given four, 14, so I'm not able to showcase all of them. I'm only, a I'm only able to showcase 13 of them, which is pretty unfortunate. So, now I'm going to do. Uh, so something really cool is uh, where I take it unusual. Uh, my favorite one will probably be this fire one. Actually, no, I don't know which one my favorite one is. To be honest, I don't really have a favorite one besides like this one. Uh, wait, this one right here, but it's kind of hard to see it. I like this one a lot, but it's kind of hard to see it. Uh, again, you cannot see it in first person. Be sure you, you can only, oh crap. You can only uh, see it in third person, so we need so we need to use the taunt. Then you can finally see it on yourself. This will not work in viewport character either. And I'm like, it looks pretty dope. Although I wish it was a bit more brighter, because you can like barely see it, especially when you go in the sky. It's kind of a bit more hard to see it on dark maps. That this would be probably useful. Uh, I mean, uh, probably very easy to see, but on like light maps, it's not going to be that easy to see. Now, there's also a combined feature as well, which is going to be right here. Basically, what you could do is get copies of the skins. So, for example, you could also get copies of skins that you want in here. So, I'm going to do Material Man because he looks pretty dope. And I'm going to buy... Actually, I'm not going to waste my money on that. I'm going to buy Ninja instead. So, I'm going to buy exactly 10 of these. One, two, three. Holy crap, this is so bad. Four, five. I'm literally spam clicking this. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I just wasted 10, 12 grand or something like that. And uh, now I have a and, and a, a crap. It didn't work. Wait, why is it unusual? It's not unusual yet. Okay, buddy. So right now I have eleven ninjas right now. So I can combine ten for sparkle or a hundred copies for a collector shine. I believe the collector shine looks like this. But like, di but like different colors and maybe less brighter. I personally haven't seen it. Uh, but uh, I will combine 10 of these for a sparkle thingy. Why did it go back to delinquent? I don't care, but okay, there it go. And that's what the sparkle one looks like. That's what it looks like when you combine 10 of them. It, ge it gives your little character little sparkle thingies right here. So I'm like, if you want the effect of like an unusual, then, then this is the way to go. Because you don't really spend a lot of money. 
uh, uh, compared to an unusual, like, uh, I got one within five crates, but, uh, like, there's people out there that spend, like, a hundred thousand and get one unusual, so, if you want to have the effect of an unusual, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, then this is probably the best way to go, to, uh, buy ten copies of a skin and then get the sparkle craft, or you can spend ten times more depending on the skin and get the, uh, collector's edition. I personally haven't spent that much Robux in this game. I really only bought is the uh, the the VIP servers, and I also bought the one-time purchase of the VIP as well, which gives you 1.5 uh, 4K bucks, and all, and also gives you 1.5 bucks per round. So basically, uh, you get 80 bucks per win. And I guess I'm going to show you guys how like grind the best for like you know very cheap compared to like just buying it right here, because this costs us a thousand Robux for. 13.5k, so that's kind of a lot. Like, this is pretty much a good deal for, like, $10, because I've seen games where you, like, pay $50, and it's, like, a lot worse deals. Like, you can only buy, like, one gun. It's like, wow, what a great deal. I pay, fi I pay $50 for one gun? Wow! So, the best way to farm for bucks without breaking your bank, without paying thousands of Robux for bucks, is actually playing the game and grinding with the VIP and you get 80 bucks per win and it takes about three minutes so it's honestly a long process but as of right now that's the only way to get bucks I wish they made it more friendlier like as in like you can get bucks more e more easier you know there's might there, there could be like challenges or something like that that dude was just default dancing now I'm just gonna die for doing that uh but as of right now you only get bucks for winning and that's it you don't get bucks for completing challenges. Why is there so many AFK players? You don't get bucks for completing challenges. You don't get in, any of that. Uh, uh, event uh, event stuff does not count towards bucks. It's only for skins and kill effects and stuff like that. So I'm like, yeah, it kind of sucks how like there's like nothing um, to like get bucks faster besides just literally playing the game uh, uh, as of right now. And then, and then buying VIP will help you out a lot. Holy crap, that was a bad aim. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm about to get a W. There we go, I got a W. I actually stomped him rather than backstab. Some dude just called me a cheer, to be honest, I get that a lot and I don't really be caring. But um, thing is that uh, that's really the only way you can grind and that's if you get in, in, in a top one position. Cause I'm like, I know like it's hard to like go against like a guy like me that like sweats at, at, at this game. like. Just doesn't like bulk, uh, like play like garbage. Yeah, so basically, if you're not good at the game, it's gonna take a while for you to always get number one in the slot, and that's just unfortunate because I'm like, uh, you do have to be pretty good at this game in order to get the uh, top one slot always. Uh, even I sometimes I don't get the uh, top one slot because of the stupid golden knife. I all like I get to the golden gun extremely fast, or rather, oh my god, this dude's teleporting. I get to the golden knife like extremely fast, but I take a long time to get a kill with it because, like, I guess I'm just bad with it. Or there's a lot of BS moments where I get a backstab, but it doesn't work because Arsenal's a great quality game. So I'm like, uh, if you're good at this game, then grinding won't be a problem for you. But even then, I think that it should be like the bugs should be more now because I'm like character crates are very high in demand right now. And as a free-to-play user, it's very, it's very unfriendly, because basically, guys, look at my sick unusual. Look at that. Look at this war machine right here. I look very stupid. I don't like this effect, but it's the one that looks bright, brighter. So I got eighty dollars. A character case as of right now costs you one point two k. So we can actually do the math here. Now with VIP, this is only for VIP. You earn eighty bucks per round. And it takes about three minutes to, to complete a round. You know, some take two, some take four minutes. For me personally, I take three. Now, this is assuming if you get number one every single time and you own VIP. So we can actually do the math. So if a crate costs 1.2K, we divide that by 80. And it takes 15 rounds to get one crate. Each round takes about three minutes. So we multiply that by three. And, th and this is our rough timing, 45. And then if we want 100 crates for a good chance of an unusual, we go ahead and multiply that by 100. And that's 4,500 minutes, which is the equivalent of 75 hours. Now, if you own all of the crates, you would actually get 200 crates about assuming um because if you get dupes you get half your money back so that's really dope on arsenal 
Right now, I didn't play a at all whatsoever. Uh, I waited on purpose to lose, which is just not playing the game at all, just sitting in the menu waiting for the game to end while I record it. And as a VIP user, I have received 10 bucks, I believe, is what you get. No, 20 bucks. 10 bucks if you don't have VIP. So 20 bucks if you do have VIP. And I'm like, that's still okay just for sitting there doing nothing. But I'm like, still, it takes an extremely long amount of time. So the best way to actually get bucks is to simply buy it with Robux. But I'm like, that costs a lot. That's ten thousand. That's ten dollars in real life money for for one thousand Robux, and not everyone has that. And and this and as a free to play user, it's very hard to get an unusual. Uh, the chance of it is extremely low. So not everybody will get an unusual. And I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm like, from a from a free. From a free-to-play standpoint, you're not supposed to be able to get an unusual so easily. Remember that the end, that the end of the day, roll uh, profits off, uh, off this game, and they need to do that in order to, you know, uh, make a living in real life. And you got to respect them for that. And I mean, like, it's really unfortunate because um, as a free-to-play user, you won't be able to get an unusual, basically, and that sucks. So. Um, I guess only the best way to do it is just to grind on this game a lot, and that's basically it. Try to get number one all the time. That's where you get the most bucks. Uh, if you don't get no, if you don't get number one, you're gonna have a bad time. And I know that it's not easy getting number one 24/7 because usually I always win, even when I play with sweats. Except that uh, I lose a lot from the golden eye, so that's really cool. I want to default dance on this toxic player. Ha <laughs> ha. But I mean, like, this is just more of cosmetics, so it doesn't really matter. I'm like, it, it, it's not it's not like a game changer where it's just like, Oh no, it's pay to play! Oh no! Ah, ah, it's pay to play! It's gonna end. Yeah, it's not like that at all whatsoever. These are just purely cosmetics, so who really cares in the end? It doesn't make the game a complete game changer. It doesn't do anything like that. It's just simply, I'm dominating the the, the kid who uh, who default dance on me. What a loser. Oh, wait, is that him? Yeah, that's him. I'll have to get a W, and I just got the W, and I think I will only get uh, half of what you usually make. So VIP will instead of getting 80, they'll probably make 40. Uh, how about let's see? Nope, got 80. So I got 80 dollars from that. I don't know that's what you think, because I remember getting not that much money, but that only took me like a minute and 30 seconds to win, because uh, you only need 17 kills to win versus 33. So. I guess play shorter game modes as well in order to get the same amount of money, but in a lot more quicker time, I guess. So I won like six games already. Oh, this dude wants me to give me a gift. Okay, yeah, cool, buddy. Okay, yeah, here we go. It doesn't work. I can't. I I'm sp I'm pressing G and it doesn't work. Okay, cool. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna try gun rotation. Oh wait, no, it's the same. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna give you the same amount of cash. So it doesn't really matter. And nobody really cares to vote for it either. Cool. So yeah, that's basically it. I might. You gotta play the game, and it's supposed to be super rare to get, so it's pretty understandable for them to do that. And, um, I'm not sure if it's exactly worth it to combine something like, like, material, man, that costs $2,000. Uh, uh, per purchase, you don't get a discount for buying the same thing. Nope, it's $2,000. It's $2,000. That is a lot of money. And... Yeah, that kind of sucks, bro.